Hello relatives, welcome to this week's Schlagbite for the week December 9th, 2013, entitled Trust the Season and Mandela. This is the season that we say thank you. Thank you for all of the gifts in our lives, a time that we restore our belief that dreams and miracles can happen, a season of peace and goodwill can prevail. But this is not an especially good time for us to be reaching out to each other, uh, because as a culture we have grown cynical and mistrustful of all of the institutions that once sustained us. The government, the judiciary, police, religious institutions, big five accounting firms, and now it turns out that we, we don't trust each other. A recently published Associated Press survey found that only one-third of Americans believe that most people can be trusted. One of the basic ingredients of a democracy is a trust in the other fellow to be able to make decisions based on the common good, not just one's own personal good. The current political gridlock is simply another reflection of what happens to a society when its members no longer trust in the common good and pursue only their own. When that happens, we no longer behave civilly toward each other. Mistrust escalates our fears. If you can't trust two-thirds of the people you meet, then it makes every stranger that you encounter a potential trespasser. If you don't trust the institutions to protect you, then you have to protect yourself, and we are becoming a gun-toting, armed citizenry which only intensifies the boundaries between people. The AP survey also suggested that by the time we reach our mid-twenties, our attitudes about trust are pretty much set. And I found myself fretting about how our growing mistrust is so deeply embedded that maybe it's too late to spread the message of this season. And in the midst of my musings, I learned that Nelson Mandela died. I loved him. I loved the man and the symbol. I loved that after 27 years of imprisonment and torture for his stand against apartheid, that he did not emerge as somebody who sought retribution and revenge, but instead he built a community based on reconciliation and compromise. Nelson Mandela restored my flagging spirit. It was just another gift from this remarkable man, whose life and work are a living testimony that we are capable of moving beyond our mistrust and isolation to find a way to live together in shared humanity. In this season of thanks and miracles, I say thank you, Nelson, for reminding us to live the dream. Rest in peace, Madiba. Go in peace on the journey, relatives, in this season of renewal. I say this for all my relations. Mitakwiasi. Have a great week.